This is a quick demonstration of an upcoming feature for Audio Pilot Plane 4.2. And the feature we're calling this feature Ship Landing, although this particular demonstration, I'm using a truck and we're doing a takeoff and landing of a quad plane from a, uh, a truck going around in a circle. So just to uh, give you some context, uh, if I look at the rover here and have a look at the what it's doing, the mission, so the rover is a rover code, Archipelot rover code is controlling the truck and just driving it around in a great big circle here uh, to give a, a landing platform. And then um, the quad plane is being controlled by uh, Audio Pilot plane. And so if I have a look at this, then we can see it's just sitting disarmed in manual mode on the back of the truck here. And uh, so this simulation is using the uh, gazebo ignition system and the, the combination with the truck and the quad plane was put together by uh, Reese Main Waring and uh, very grateful to the effort that Reese has been putting into ignition support in RG Pilot lately. Uh, it's looking really good and incredibly useful for testing this type of capability where we've got interactions between multiple vehicles, in this case, a, a quad plane landing on a, on a truck. All right, so uh, the mission is going to be to take off vertically from the back of the truck while matching the velocity of the truck. Uh, so, it's, uh, so if this was on a ship, then it would you know, uh, keep moving with the speed of the ship during the takeoff. Then it will transition to forward flight and go into a hold off position B, uh, behind the truck and we'll be able to control the landing sequence. I've got an RC transmitter here and uh, on this RC transmitter I'm just going to use the throttle stick to uh, give some control over the landing process. Um, all of this is being run using a Lua script so the actual additions to the core Archie Pilot code are fairly minor and then there's an onboard Lua script running within ArduPilot, and that Lua script um, is controlling all of the processes with regard to the ship takeoff and landing. Um, all right, so uh, on with the demo. So what I'm going to do is put this plane into auto mode, and uh, then I'm going to arm the throttle, and it'll start doing a takeoff. So there it is doing uh, a takeoff off the back of the truck while matching velocity. And so it moves up vertically until it gets to the takeoff height. And there it's reached the takeoff height and it's now transitioning to forward flight. So um, what you'll notice on the, the map here, we can see the two vehicles. So we can see uh, the ship, which is shown as a rover or the truck in this case. It actually shows up as two different vehicles because the, um, the main cabin of the, um, uh, the, the, the front cab of the truck is a separate rover from the trailer because of the articulation. And so the GPS beacon, we're simulating a GPS beacon on the trailer because we want to land on the trailer. And then, um, so the, the, in a ship landing scenario, what you would do is um, you would have two uh, GPSs, typically F9P U-Blocks GPSs set up for um, moving baseline GPS yaw, which makes the yaw of that GPS beacon on the ship independent of the uh, any magnetic fields. And then you've got uh, GPS on the plane that's coming in and it's then matching position and velocity to land on the ship. All right, so what we can see here now is that the plane is in a hold off position. If you have a look on the map, so you see the truck moving over here and it's chosen a hold off position there and that hold off position is moving with the ship. So, uh, so what's happening is as the ship goes around in its circle, uh, the target position here is shifted. Just make this a little bit larger so it's easier to see. And so it ends up flying a spiral behind the ship. And you can change the uh, direction, uh, the, the position of this hold off uh, relative to the ship. Um, and that can be useful if you want to, for example, avoid the superstructure of the ship, avoid a mast or something like that. You want the, uh, you also want when you're coming in over the ship that if uh, you want to abort landing and go straight to a, to a flight mode where you're going straight ahead, uh, out, you want to make sure that that path 
doesn't um, intersect with any component of the ship like a mast. And by controlling that hold off angle, um, you can do that. Uh, that's controlled by some parameters. Um, so Lua scripts um, in ArduPilot can now have their own parameters. And we have a parameter called ship land angle that's part of the Lua script. And that uh, parameter uh, specifies the relative angle where zero is coming in behind the ship. Okay, so we're now, so we're in this hold off state. And so this is what happens when you enter RTL. So you do the takeoff, you go and do whatever mission, survey, whatever you need to do. Um, and then uh, you put it into RTL. And when it's got this ship landing enabled, uh, then it will go into this, this hold off position. So then what we do is we take our transmitter and I've got my uh, RC channels showing here. So channel three is my throttle channel. So you can see what I'm up to. And what I'm gonna do is just lower this down uh, to, a, to a lower value here. And you'll see that it, it gave a message here um, to say that it's uh, descending for approach. And um, so you've got these different controls. You can be at the hold off altitude where it's spiraling. You can be at the um, at a lower altitude where it, it's the approach altitude. And finally you can put it all the way down like I've done there now and it will um, start the actual approach. Now, the it doesn't do the approach to the ship until the tangent of its spiral lines up with the landing point on the ship. So I'll just put the transmitter down again and we'll use that again when we're uh, controlling the actual descent and, and uh, a repositioning control. So what it's doing now is it's doing the approach and it actually switches to QRTL mode. So you can tell when it's starting the approach to the ship, your ground station will tell you that you're in QRTL mode. And so what it's doing now is matching velocity and getting on the velocity profile it wants to line up. There was a little bit of pitch correction there as it gets on the perfect velocity profile for lining up with the velocity of the ship. And it's now approaching the, um, the point above the ship where it wants to descend. And it's using a, a follow offset. You've got uh, parameters to control the relative offset of the landing point uh, on the ship. So now it's um, going to start the descent. And so uh, it's now descending above the truck um, and we can control the descent rate while it's doing this. So if I pick up the transmitter while it's descending and I raise this throttle, then that once I've uh, gone above 70% um, uh, throttle, I can bring it back to mid stick and that'll hold the altitude there. So I can, um, uh, by raising and lowering the throttle, I can control the descent rate. So currently I've got it at mid stick. So the descent is halted. I can lower this down and the plane will start descending again above the, the landing point. And um, it's also weather vaning a little bit there and uh, lining up with the exact point it wants to be. Now, when I'm holding off like this, um, what I can do is um, uh, I can control the repositioning of the plane. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, force it to yaw around a little bit the way I want it to yaw. So this gives, if you just uh, have the throttle down, it'll do a full automatic landing, but you can, control the position on the truck if you want to. So um, that's because we know that, you know, GPSs can have error. You may not have RTK GPS. And so I can nudge it a little bit forward or back and it'll have slow movement while still tracking the velocity of the target point. But the pilot can do a little bit of fine control to get the exact point they want on the truck. And then they can just lower the, the throttle stick to say, okay, I'm happy with that. And you can now land that point. Now uh, you can of course, just do the entire landing completely automatically if you don't touch the sticks or you can give it some fine control like this um, just in case you want to. So we'll just hold off there. So it's now holding off just above the deck and we're waiting for a big wave to pass if this was a ship. And then once we're happy with that, we then uh, can lower the, the stick down again 
and it'll come in and land on the deck. So there it's landed and um, it'll now disarm itself. Um, and uh, so uh, then it's, it's completed the landing. So there it has disarmed and we now have a quad plane landed on the back of that truck at the position that we've specified. So, um, so that's the general system of the, the ship landing and truck landing. Um, and I uh, hope it's going to be a, a very useful feature. It's, it's something that quite a number of Archer Pilot partner companies have requested uh, over the last couple of years. And um, we're expecting trials on uh, real ships to begin uh, very shortly. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, happy flying.